Hey there, I've got uh, my sixth guitar in a series, my sixth acoustic steel string guitar. And uh, this one is a Larravee Parlor, a P01, I think. It's pretty, it's, I've had it for a while. I uh, got it back in about 2000. And um, it's basically just a Sitka spruce top, mahogany back and sides, no finish, so it's very flat. I think at the time it was only like 300 bucks or something. They weren't very expensive. And so I, I picked this one up <laughs> and I've, uh, with the 100% intent of using it as a high strung guitar. And what a high strung guitar is, I've, I, I did a video a long time ago about, about this guitar, about the high strung guitar. And um, basically what it is, is a guitar strung up um, with the highest of the pairs of strings of a 12 string set. Okay, simplified. Basically the bottom four strings, the E, A, D, G, are up an octave. Now you don't just take regular strings and tune them up an octave, you have to use a thinner set. That's what, basically what I'll do is I'll take an Elixir 12 string set and then split it up into two sets. One for a, a six string normal guitar and one for a parlor guitar. And so that way I get two sets of strings out of one, one set, out of one 12, 12 string set. Um, so basically this is, this would be the octave up string of the D string. Uh, I'm sorry, the octave up of the low E string on the 12 string set, and then so on and so forth. The only string of these that is wound is the bottom string. Okay, so uh, the G string is the only one you got to be a little bit careful of, just like you, just same, same as with a 12 string. Uh, that's the one that can break if you, if you accidentally go too sharp on it. Um, so what I bought this for initially was to, to double acoustics when I strummed. So if you strum a regular acoustic, and um, and then double it with this. It sounds like a twelve string. They they call it they, in Nashville. They call it poor man's twelve string. But it creates a much brighter tone. What I'll do oftentimes is I'll record two acoustic strumming double pan them left and right and then I'll put this guitar right smack dab in the middle and then you can the engineer can just kind of bring a little bit of it if he wants to brighten up the guitars he doesn't need to have it as loud as the other two guitars it's just if he wants to kind of add a brightness to the overall mix I find that this is a really good tool well when I was messing around with it I discovered that because the, the um, G string here is actually above this E string here pitch wise uh, that you can create so here I'm just on the fourth string, I'm playing zero, zero, and then three, two. It creates these really cool inside voicings. If I play the E on the D string, second fret, then the G open, third fret, and then the, uh, the second fret of the first string, I actually have a tet what's called a tetra, tetra chord. On the piano it would be very easy to play, it'd be, it would be uh, E, Let's see, D, E, G, or sorry, oh, it's not quite a tetrachord, I'm close. D, E, no, it is, D, E, F, sharp, G. On piano, that's really easy, it's like a cluster. On guitar, it's very difficult to play. It would be very difficult to play on a, a normal tune guitar, but on a high strung guitar, it's really simple. So those are four scale tones in a row. So this is so basically, I, I chose this guitar to use as a high strung because it's a smaller body. Um, it's um, it's already got a bright sound, so that's kind of what I was trying to get out of this guitar. So I figured, well, why not do that? And then also, I didn't want to take a full body guitar, a more expensive guitar, out of commission by high, leaving it high strung all the time. This has been strung high strung since the day I got it. It's been fit over 15 years, and the neck is totally fine. Um, it hasn't hurt it at all. So. And because it wasn't that expensive of a guitar, it wasn't that big of a deal, even if the neck were to get warped or something because of the lack of tension. Uh, anyway, so, pick up a cheap guitar, and then maybe string it up high strung, buy a 12 string set and just split it up into two sets, and then you've got a high strung guitar. You could, you could do it with any guitar, really, but I would, I would generally prefer to do it myself on a cheaper guitar. 